Do you think you know what really pleases a woman? Many of us believe that we know our partner's desires and needs well, but what if we're making mistakes that are damaging this all-important connection? What if I told you that most of us are making three serious mistakes in our most intimate moments? Mistakes that could be sabotaging pleasure and, even worse, creating distance where there should be closeness. These mistakes are subtle, easy to overlook, but they have a huge impact on the quality of the relationship. And what's worse, hardly anyone realizes they're making these mistakes. But don't worry, because today we're going to uncover these mistakes and, more importantly, show you how to correct them. You're about to discover how to transform your intimate life into something much deeper, more pleasurable, and satisfying. Stick around because what you're about to learn could completely change the course of your relationship. Let's get started. Ignorance of female sexual anatomy. It's surprising that even in the 21st century, ignorance of the female sexual anatomy is still so common. Men and women are often completely unaware of how the female body works, which leads to a series of myths and misconceptions. Many still believe that female pleasure is concentrated in a few specific areas, without understanding the complexity and individuality of each body. One of the greatest examples of this ignorance is the clitoris. This organ, which is crucial for female sexual pleasure, is often ignored or misunderstood. Despite being a small structure, the clitoris contains over 8,000 nerve endings, more than any other part of the human body, and its sole purpose is to provide pleasure. When properly stimulated, it can generate extremely intense sensations, yet many women report that it is often neglected in their relationships. In addition to the clitoris, there are several erogenous zones that can play an important role in sexual pleasure, such as the breasts, neck, ears, inner thighs, and many other areas that vary from person to person. Unfortunately, the stigma surrounding the exploitation of the female body prevents many women from discovering these zones. Many grow up hearing that they should be reserved, or that exploring their sexuality is shameful. This stigma means that they never really know the limits of their own bodies, let alone express these desires to their partners. Without this communication, pleasure becomes a mystery and sexual satisfaction difficult to achieve. Another aspect that contributes to this knowledge gap is the lack of sex education offered in many parts of the world. In schools, the focus is almost always on the biological aspects of reproduction, often concentrating on male anatomy. Little or nothing is taught about female sexuality beyond the basics of menstruation and pregnancy. This approach creates generations of women and men who understand little about how the female body actually works in terms of pleasure. Many adult women still don't know their anatomy and can feel uncomfortable exploring or discussing their preferences with their partners, leading to ongoing dissatisfaction in intimate relationships. It is essential that sex education evolves to include detailed and respectful information about the female anatomy, addressing not only reproductive function, but also aspects related to pleasure and sexuality. An inclusive approach can help new generations grow up with more confidence in their bodies and develop healthier, more satisfying relationships. This knowledge also demystifies taboos and helps combat the shame and insecurity that so many women feel when exploring their sexuality. Knowing and understanding your own body is the first step towards a fulfilling sexuality, and this knowledge should be encouraged at all stages of life, from adolescence to adulthood. Open and honest conversations are essential to demystifying the female body. When women feel comfortable exploring their bodies and communicating their needs, they not only gain confidence, but also allow their partners to learn what makes them feel pleasure. This constructive dialogue is the basis of a satisfying and balanced sex life, creating an environment in which both partners can explore their sexualities freely and mutually, without fear or insecurity. Thus, by promoting a greater understanding of the female sexual anatomy, we are opening doors to healthier relationships, both emotionally and physically. Pressure and Myths About Female Pleasure The pressure and unrealistic expectations surrounding female pleasure are a reality that many women face on a daily basis. Instead of intimacy being a natural and judgment-free experience, it often turns into a race to achieve unrealistic performance standards. These standards are often shaped by pornography and popular culture, 
which portray sexuality in a superficial and exaggerated way. The media and pornography often present a one-size-fits-all model of what female pleasure should look like, creating the illusion that all women respond in the same way to certain stimuli, which is far from the truth. This pressure can be incredibly damaging for women, who feel obliged to fit into molds that don't correspond to their reality. Female pleasure is multifaceted and individualized, and each woman has a different sexual response, which can vary over time according to her partner, her emotional state, and even external factors such as stress levels. The expectation that all women reach orgasm in a uniform way, or that it should occur in every sexual encounter, is one of the biggest sources of frustration and anxiety. When these expectations are not met, many women can feel inadequate or incapable, and this creates a cycle of insecurity that can profoundly affect their self-esteem and their relationship with their own sexuality. Pornography, in particular, is a major source of myths about female pleasure. It portrays sex as a performative act, often focused on male pleasure, and creates the illusion that female orgasm should occur quickly and visually intensely. This not only distorts the perception of female pleasure, but also creates pressures on men, who may feel they need to provide this kind of experience for their partners. This simplistic view of sexuality ignores the importance of emotional connection, communication, and respect for each person's individual needs. Another related problem is the lack of diversity in the way female pleasure is represented in the media. Most of the images we see in the media do not reflect the wide range of women's sexual experiences and preferences. Limited and stereotyped representations reinforce the idea that there is only one right way to feel pleasure, which can make many women feel isolated in their own experiences. The lack of representation also marginalizes those who have bodies, identities, or sexual orientations that don't fit conventional standards, further aggravating issues related to pleasure. In order to break down these myths and pressures, it is essential that women learn to free themselves from these unrealistic expectations and build a more personal and authentic understanding of pleasure. Pleasure should be a unique and individual experience, not a set of rules to follow. Open and honest conversations with partners are essential to demystify the expectations created by society and allow women to explore their own definitions of pleasure without judgment or comparison. It is also important that this conversation extends to friends and professionals, such as therapists, who can help deal with the pressures and myths surrounding female sexuality. By creating a space where women can express themselves freely and explore their own experiences of pleasure, we can begin to deconstruct the social pressures that limit female sexuality. Pleasure should not be an unattainable goal or a set of external expectations, but something personal and unique. When women feel safe to free themselves from these pressures, they can find new ways to enjoy intimacy, leading to healthier, more genuine and fulfilling relationships. Lack of communication and emotional intimacy. Communication is the key to intimacy, but it is often lacking in relationships. The absence of dialogue about desires and limits can be a significant obstacle to female pleasure. When women don't feel comfortable talking about what they like or don't like, it can create an environment of insecurity and discomfort. The fear of being judged or misunderstood often prevents them from expressing their needs, resulting in unsatisfactory sexual experiences. It is common in many relationships for one partner to take control of the sexual experience which can lead to a dynamic in which only one side's desires are prioritized. Without dialogue, women can end up feeling like spectators of their own experiences, which is far from pleasurable. What's more, this lack of expression can lead to resentment and emotional detachment, making the connection between partners even more fragile. Building a solid emotional connection depends largely on the ability to communicate. When both partners share their desires, insecurities, and fantasies, intimacy tends to increase. This not only improves the quality of pleasure, but also strengthens the emotional bond between them. Creating a safe space where everyone feels comfortable opening up without fear of criticism is essential for a healthy relationship. Another important aspect is the impact of sex education on communication about pleasure.
Often, the sex education we receive from a young age is limited and focuses only on biological aspects, without addressing pleasure in a comprehensive way. This results in a generation that grows up not knowing how to communicate their needs and desires. Investing in more inclusive and informative sex education can help change this scenario, preparing future generations to express themselves more freely and confidently. Maintaining a healthy relationship requires constant learning about your partner. As people change and evolve, their needs and desires also change. It is therefore essential that communication is continuous and adaptive. This ensures that both partners feel satisfied and connected, emotionally and sexually. Being open to dialogue transforms intimate experiences, promoting a much deeper and more authentic level of pleasure. When both partners feel safe to share their desires, a space of trust is created that allows new possibilities to be explored. This emotional and sexual connection is often the key to unlocking a new dimension of pleasure and intimacy. For many women, sexual pleasure is deeply linked to the way they feel about their partner. When there is a strong emotional connection, pleasure tends to be more intense and fulfilling. This connection goes beyond the physical act. It involves trust, affection, and empathy between the partners. Without this emotional base, sex can become mechanical and unsatisfying. When women don't feel emotionally connected to their partners, this can create barriers to pleasure. They can feel uncomfortable or uninterested, which makes it harder to relax and enjoy the intimate experience. Emotional intimacy is essential for a woman to feel comfortable exploring her body and expressing her preferences. Fostering an environment where feelings and emotions are respected and valued is fundamental to building this connection. Investing time and dedication in building this emotional bond is what sustains the depth of the relationship. This means that partners must dedicate themselves to quality time together, which goes beyond physical intimacy. Honest conversations, moments of vulnerability, and sharing personal experiences are valuable opportunities to strengthen the relationship. The more deeply partners know each other, the more comfortable they feel exploring their sexuality and communicating their needs. Emotional connection can also be an important factor in making women feel more confident in their sexuality. When supported and valued by their partners, they feel more willing to explore new experiences and discover what really satisfies them. This safe environment of trust allows limits and desires to be explored freely leading to fuller and more satisfying pleasure. However, it is important to remember that emotional connection is not built overnight. It is an ongoing process that requires attention and effort. Both partners need to be committed to the growth of the relationship, working together to strengthen the bond over time. When this connection is cultivated, pleasure becomes a natural extension of the relationship, resulting in richer and more rewarding experiences for both. Now that you know the three most common mistakes that may be sabotaging female pleasure, it's time to take action. Don't let these mistakes continue to hinder your relationship. It's time to rethink your beliefs, open a sincere and honest dialogue with your partner, and above all, remember that pleasure is a shared journey. Every step taken towards better understanding and communication creates a stronger relationship, deeper intimacy, and a truly transformative connection. And remember, there's no rush. Each couple has their own time to discover what works best for them. Want to continue exploring this topic and learn even more about how to improve your intimate life? Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and share this video with anyone you think needs this message. Together, we can break taboos and build healthier, more pleasurable relationships. See you in the next video.